when it comes to horror, one of my favorite subgenres is the surrealism in horror. You know, those 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 plots and those things that people truly can relate to because it's so real that it's actually horrific. That brings me to the new film, Clock. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the new film Clock which is coming to Hulu April 28th. Yeah this this film was a hard watch here and I'm going to be completely transparent and just say that like you know there's definitely elements of this film that um, I can resonate with but there's a lot of it that I can't but nonetheless the themes the topics uh, the metaphorical messages and imagery within this film uh, by all means is a scary very very scary thing that uh, people deal with on a day-to-day -day. and that goes to our character Ella who is extremely desperate in attempt to fix her biological clock listen everything around her is forcing her to have a baby however she is not ready and again right there could you imagine like the, the pressure, the societal pressure, the 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 pressures within her inner circle, uh, you know, just the the sort of the, the dialogue she's hearing in passing. When you're gonna have a baby, you know, from the parents, the in-laws, the partners, all these folks are telling her, when are you gonna have a baby? You need to have a baby, you'll be a good mother, all these sorts of different things when she isn't mentally ready. It's a scary thing because one, this is very damaging to one's mental health, but two to accept the role and responsibility of parenthood is just already a challenge in its own. And following this journey with Ella, who's played by Diana Agron, uh, first of all, fantastic job this entire time in this film. Uh, keeps you engaged, keeps you locked in, keep you emotionally invested uh, through everything that's happening. Because with all of this that's happening, you know, at a point, she decides that like she's going to solicit help because it ain't just a a, a a physicality aspect to it but it's a mental part to it too and she's and and with all the pressures her partner her dad her dad and i mean her dad is not coming at this nice at all her dad is like listen you got to do this for the generation of our family this can't our name can't end here with you you have to do stuff and i mean he is going at her harsh to the point that she decides to take this uh, clinical trial to try to seemingly fix her biological clock. And of course, this doesn't go at all as what it seems. You know, there's always twists and turns. It's a horror film and whatnot. Uh, but again, through this journey in this film, we're getting tons of metaphorical imagery, messages. And again, while there's some I can identify, there's some I truly don't understand. And I think, I'm not going to give any away, and I'm also not even going to give, like, the ones that I was kind of struggling with. But by all means, it made me go and do some research, I will say that. Uh, but by all means, I think that everybody is going to resonate with this film differently. All people of all different backgrounds, all different situations and whatnot, all will resonate with this story differently. But you will absolutely take away uh, important messages that, well, parenthood... And, and pregnancy ain't just something you could just slap a label on somebody and say, go do. It is absolutely something that uh, mothers have to be willing to do when they're ready, not by pressure. Um, but again, she's getting it from all different directions. Her partner, her significant other, her parents, her peers, everybody. And, and, it, and it just becomes a lot to the point that, like, how much more can she take? How much can one take? before all these societal pressures and whatnot eventually have her to just explode. So like the first two, two thirds of this film is truly about the struggle, but by that third act, she is completely unhinged because she is not going to let anybody control her narrative here. Uh, and, and even with this uh, clinical trial that she's, that she's going through, you know, this is supposed to, this experimental program is supposed to aid women in pain and, and, and sort of like a therapy for, for the fear, but yet to 
uh, add the desire to want to be a parent. So it's a lot of things that's kind of going on here. And again, that's why I said the surrealism and the horror, because there's folks that probably experience this every single day. You know, there's nothing supernatural about this. This is actually surrealism. Like this is real. This is happening. But there is a little bit of, you know, I'll talk about supernatural stuff. There is a little bit of, you know, kind of that in here, just a little bit, not to take away from the important message here, but there's a little bit of that going on here. Um, but I will say <laughs> this film has a wow cliffhanger of an ending, like literally a cliffhanger. But in order to understand, because I'm not going to give away and I'm not even going to give you my thoughts about the ending. I'm not going to go do a whole ending explain thing here. I will say that in order to truly kind of understand the message of the film, uh, beyond the, the all the other different messages that's, that's happening, by the conclusion of this film, there's also another message. If you pay attention to in the middle of the film, there's a particular quote about the evolution of man. If you think about that, I think it would absolutely give you and put you in the right direction in terms of why the film ended the way it did and the message that it's trying to relay here. So, you know, a lot of different things happening in it, but I got to say, like, you know, Diana did a fantastic job keeping you engaged. Uh, fantastic performance. Uh, th there's supporting other cast members as well, too. But truly, this film rides on Diana's back. Um, but you know, it's a film you gotta watch, man. Hulu has a couple of films coming down their pipeline that is really, uh, you know, diving into this horror genre, uh, full steam ahead, and that are really good. And this is one that I, I enjoy. And even with me again not being able to truly resonate with some of the factors of this film, I definitely enjoyed this film as a complete product. And I think this is certainly one that a lot of people should watch. But I will completely be honest with this last statement. This film potentially can be triggering to folks. So, you know, if you know anybody that, you know, could be potentially struggling with some of the elements of this film, this may not be uh, a, a necessarily a watch currently for them because it gets gory at times, but it again, it gets real. And I think that the pressures amount to things and you see these things that they amount to. Um, and it's just hard, you know, and I, you know, it, 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 you just can't imagine uh, what one may be feeling and one may be experiencing but like this film explores all that but i think somebody who may be going through it may not be totally up to wanting to see how this is being portrayed um and depicted on the screen so like you know definitely can be triggering to folks but yeah check it out folks when you do if you can if you're willing uh jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon